In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enter in modified program, modified expectations for a subject as well as K-course expectations. So in the IEP menu, I'll hit subjects. And as you can see, there, there's already three subjects generated. These subjects have been populated through the PowerSchool timetable. So if a student is going to be enrolled in a K-course, it is important that that K-course be entered into PowerSchool. Otherwise, it will not populate in this menu. So you want to make sure that any course that the students are registered for are entered into PowerSchool so that it can pull that data into here. Next, I'm going to go into my language page by clicking on the little eyeball icon, view summary, which will open up this window. And first you'll see the profile menu, which is mainly just student details. So you just want to confirm that those are all correct. You're going to go down to the details page. You're going to change the designation from accommodated to modified. Then you're going to enter in the letter grade that was reflected on the most recent report card usually the June report card, and the curriculum grade level. Ron was in grade one last year, so I'm going to make sure it's grade one, and I'm going to hit save. It's really important that these three boxes are complete, because if these three boxes are not complete, it will not generate the uh, expectations on the IEP. So please make sure that you enter those in before moving on. Next up is the evaluation of progress. For modified subjects, the evaluation is directly reported on the report card, so you don't need to worry about this if it's a modified subject. However, if it is K-Course, the K-Course does need to be evaluated on the IEP. So this, is, this open text box here is where you can enter in that evaluation. Um, so again, for K-Courses, you can enter it in here, but for modified subjects, you don't need to worry about that. So for expectations now, we're going to click on the expectations tab. We're going to go to new, create from course. And here you can see all of the different Ontario curriculum guides here and alternative programs. But we want to narrow that down because there is a lot. So I'm going to type G for grade and one because I'm going to modify at a grade one level. And I'll start entering in language. And you can see that it's generated. And you can do this by filtering uh, for different subjects, uh, like math or science, in both elementary and secondary. It directly generates uh, all of those different uh, expectations. I'm going to find the expectation that I would like to modify. So I'm going to click on this one here, phonemic awareness. Hit select. And here you can see it's now populated in the menu, but I need to clean this up a little bit. We can't use the direct from curriculum documents uh, expectation. So I'm going to click on the pencil button and get rid of some of this ministry language here. So I just have the strand. I'm going to have the semester and you can select either semester one, two or full year. F is for full year. Most of the time we're going to just use one or two. So we're going to, we'll select semester one. And this is an open text box down here. So I'm going to just eliminate some of this wording. Type in Ron Will. Clean this up a little bit. And now I have my expectation ready to go. Next up is the teaching strategies. So when I click on the blue link to the side there, I'm going to open up this box. And I can start typing in the different uh, teaching strategies that I'm going to use for this expectation. So modeling, demonstrate the task. I'm going to click the add button as I'm typing the different examples of expect or teaching strategies will generate and you can select them and instructional language, concrete examples. Now, if I was to hit save at this point without hitting the add button, you'll see that that third one didn't get entered. So it's really important that you remember to hit the add button. And if you need to delete one, you can just hit the delete the trash can. And you can also drag and drop to reorder these if you like. I'm going to hit save. 
they're now in the box. I'm going to go down to assessment methods and the same idea. Last room work. Add teacher observation. Add and data collection and tracking. Add save. Now all my expectations or my expectation now aligns with my teaching strategies and assessment method. I'm going to hit save, close this box down. And you can see that it hasn't changed the way it looks in this menu. So what I'm going to do is hit refresh and it's now updated to reflect the changes that I made. This time I'm going to add a different expectation, but I'm going to do it from scratch. So I'm going to hit strand and I'm going to enter in the strand of understanding and responding to X. And my expectation will be Ron will identify some text patterns such as sequencing and chronological order. Use my spell check here, hit save. And one thing I forgot to mention is entering in grade level. Hitting save. Teaching strategies again, and it's important to note that we separate these expectations out so the different uh, expectations have um, have the different strategies and assessment methods. So I'm going to do activate prior knowledge, add that in, arrange for student buddy, and modeling concrete examples. Save, add that in. And my assessment methods for this one will be classroom work, as well as data collection. Save. I'm going to make sure I hit the Save button. Close this down. Go back into our menu here. And you can see both expectations are there. So one thing I'm just looking at my expectations and I need to make sure that I am got everything ready to go. I did forget to write my semester though. And it's really important that if you, if you don't, if you leave this blank, um, it will not generate the expectation on the IEP. So it's really important that when you uh, are creating your expectations, you are selecting the semester and hitting save. And I picked up on that because it did not appear in my menu, but there you can see it is there now. So next up is going to be my annual program goal. So in the final, in the final tab down here, I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go to create annual program goal. I'm going to enter in language grade one annual program goal. And my annual program goal for Ron is going to, for language is going to be by the end of the year. Oops. Ron will continue to develop his on a logical awareness decoding skills and communication skills. I'm going to hit save. 
going to make sure I've got the right one selected because multiple will appear here as you develop more and more annual program goals. So you just want to make sure you've got the right one. You're going to hit select. And there you can see it's now input. I'm just going to review everything, make sure it's all there. And then I'm good to go. The X button. And now that I've completed my language expectations, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the open preview or primary form by selecting this little page button. I'm going to, it will open up a new window with a sort of a template of the IEP that's so far being completed. So I'm going to take a look to make sure everything is there. So I've got language grade two, got my letter grade and the previous grade that was input, I've got my annual program goal. And then I've got my two expectations for semester one. Go back into my IEP page and that's it.